Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Graveyard Keeper, shall we? Resuming our complete beginner's guide. And we're doing pretty well so far. And let's see what there is to work on today. We still need to do a ton of researching. I always like to check the day of the week, right? So we're far away from doing a prayer, which would give us faith to do further research. And we were working on opening up passages down below, right? So we opened up this passageway here so we could talk to Snake. And this passage that would give us an underground shortcut to the church requires beams. And we looked at this, and if we go over to... Um, well, we could get writing, uh, which would allow us to... Uh, writing is pretty simple to research. I might as well do that. And then uh, grapes, you know, if we wanted to grow grapes so we could make wine, uh, that's definitely a possibility. Um, and we could do glass blower so we could make conical flasks, okay, which is uh, actually very good. And if we wanted to do the beam, we need the circular saw, which is just an insane amount of red. So we need red and we need blue, right? Well, the easiest way, if we want to just do a little bit of research to get red and blue experience, is to make things. So why don't we do that? So blue experience can come from us um, making some gravestones. And we need some gravestones anyway. So let's just go ahead and make some. Okay, I lied. We're not getting any blue from gravestones themselves. We're going to need to make something different to get blue. And, um, sadly, let's see, we are running out of, um, energy, so we're going to need to rest for a moment, and that's fine. So let's go drop some stuff off. I'll drop off, you know, uh, nails. And ingots and parts and things right here. And we can put these with good confidence because um, they should draw directly. Like if I want to make something even in that chest, we can, we can get them. So this is fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, maybe we want wooden grave fences. This would definitely help uh, with our graveyard situation in terms of its horrifying quality. Go ahead and eat a little bit, and we can start thinking about making some more bread without question. And remember, a lot of these grave items sadly do not stack. So I will put these and this in there. And then we can pick these up and go over to our graveyard. Yeah, I'm just going to pick some mushrooms and some flowers. Get a little green experience. Flowers also. There we go. Can be used at some point for beautifying our graveyard. So we need to put a stone. There you go. And a fence. Get this quality up. This will just help us for the upcoming prayer. So you need a fence. You got it. It'll be upon us before we know it.
Beautiful. Now, here we go. A flower bed. We need red flowers and we need soil to do this. In fact, we need peat to make that happen. Uh, we're going to build grave sites. We'll just start plotting things out. You know, just basically getting ready to put some bodies in. And they don't do anything to your quality until you actually dig them. Alright, so I'm going to go... And we do need to rest. And the red experience is a flowing. Let's see here. We have berries. We don't really have honey. We can make baked mushrooms. And... We can make meat. Alright. Okay, just checking their recipes. Let's go ahead and take a snooze. Phenomenal. All right, there's a little green experience waiting for us and some mushrooms. We'll go ahead and put these mushrooms um, where we had the berries. And let me look at this chest over here. Ah, right, yeah, we've busted up stuff. That's fine. Let me put uh, these flowers over here. Don't really need those. What a fine place. Let's make a trade. My smithy for your house, the church, and the graveyard. Uh, what? That's an incredibly generous offer, Kresvald, but I'm afraid... Aha. He thought I was being serious. I'm not such a complete idiot that I want to live and work in this dump. Yuck. Uh, you're so polite, almost like farmer. Are you brothers by any chance? Heh. <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. I was the smith before his ancestors even moved here. Now you're coming with me. Am I under arrest? There's an emergency in the village. Herodric is gathering all the villagers in his tavern. I'm not a villager. There are vampires in the village, Keeper. And we expect the first fatalities are just around the corner. Herodric has requested a specialist in the dead. Now go. Relate. Remember, it's your fault. Oh, great. Rose, thank you. We all feel your pain. We know you're suffering. Boring. That was the third and final of the vampire's victims for today. But any one of us could be the next to meet him. Chain, the farmer's son, Rose, it's only just the beginning. The villagers, I await your suggestions. Dot, dot, dot. Not all at once now. Please, Corey, your suggestion first. My suggestion? Ah, yes, of course. People, hear my words. One week only, Cory and brother will be available to fix your porch for a 15% discount. And as a free gift, you'll get a special wooden platypus from Tress. No, that's my favorite toy. Business is business, brother. Um, okay, Adam, let's hear your suggestion. My suggestion is to assign two bodyguards to each villager. A week ago, a band of ghouls wrote some offensive slander on my wall. Adam, it was the village teenagers. I even helped them a bit with the grammar. Besides, ghouls don't exist. Oh dear, Logger, your suggestion? My suggestion is for everyone to stop eating dead animals. It's only natural that you'd end up seeing vampires and other nonsense. Fresh roots and braised leaves, the secrets to a healthy body and spirit. What? To turn down candied chicken leg marinade? Never. Beekeeper, please don't spit on the floor. Is there something you'd like to add? Yes, there is. You people, are you crazy? You're all full of rubbish. It's all becoming clear. It's the vile doings of my sworn enemy, Hornet Man. But fear not, my army of carnivorous bees is nearly ready. Soon, very soon, I will release them upon the village. That would be most kind of you, Beekeeper. Are there any suggestions? Great, the meeting is adjourned. You're all free to go. They've got it. 
vampires, no problem. Keeper, could you come here for a moment? I guess. Listen, might I ask you to look into all that stuff? It's pretty unexpected, but I appreciate that you confide in me. Frankly speaking, I wouldn't exactly say that I confide in you. But if I asked some villager, I'd have to give them a huge tax write-off in addition to their reward. So it only makes sense to ask someone outside the village, wouldn't you say? Hmm, yeah, absolutely. On the other hand, you're such a kind and understanding guy. Perhaps you'd agree to help us for free. Um... I'm too busy to deal with this. I agree to help, for the fee. I'd hope for a little compassion in the time of our misfortune. But very well. What a greedy rascal. Very well. Let's go home and think a bit. Oh my god. This guy. Alright, so we got a new task to find the vampire, and we need to talk to with the merchant on Merchant's Day, which is not now. And we need to get a stamp for our buddy. And here's the poet. Um, we could give him ink and paper to make him happier. And we can ask him about where to find paper and ink. We can actually get paper pretty easily if we want to make that guy our buddy. And that's, you know, definitely something that we could think about. Also, while we're here... Let's go talk to the beekeeper. Trade. All right. So why don't we buy some bees? He sells a bunch. How much money do I have? All right. I'll buy four bees. And I'll buy... Mm, uh, no beeswax. Okay. That's fine. One. Now, I want to check this. If I want to build a, a beehive, let's see if we can build our own beehives. It's a great thing for us to do to help expand. I'm not sure we have everything we need. She wants to talk to us, um, sadly, about vampire shenanigans, and we can do that. But instead, I'm going to work on things around my house. Sometimes I, I mean, not sometimes, I just like to put off some of the DLC stuff until I feel like I've got um, myself situated, but that's the great thing about the game. You could kind of do things at your own pace, and if you want to go handle that, you know, right now, um, then go for it. I'm actually going to go next door and buy some. I need to make bread. Wow, look at all these sticks. You want sticks? Just come right here. Look at that, right by the road. <laughs> Hello. I get so tired without any work to do. Trade. All right, we need um, your flour. And I'm going to buy a bunch. Great. Now we're making money. Oh, and let's go ahead and just teleport home. All right. So let's do the flower thing. Let's make dough. As much dough as we can. making, we can go ahead and just start getting some bread going. We're a little shy on fuel. No problem. Once that cooks, we'll put the rest in. But this is a great way also, as you can see, to get ourselves a bunch of green experience. We need some firewood, which we can cut up. I like bread. It just makes our life better. I'm just going to eat some of these mushrooms. All right. And we can throw in all of this dough. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Put the fat in there, too. 
We have a honeycomb that is tremendous. And berries can go in there too. All right. I like where we're at. I like how we're starting. Here's a bunch of red experience for us just chilling. There's somebody here. It's time to pay for your crimes, you foul creature. Defend yourself. Shepard, are you talking to me? To you and the you vile vampire, prepare to die in the name of my wife and all the other innocents. Hey, that's kind of funny. You really think I go around night sucking people's blood? How come I'm always out in the sun working? That proves nothing. You could be a vampire mutant, dot, dot, dot. There's only one way to check. He gave me a bunch of garlic. Eat that. What, raw garlic? Aha, he refuses. The fiend gives himself away. Oh, crap. All right, I'll eat it. Ah, are you satisfied? Like my old teacher from the Order of the Undead Hunters used to say, more. Oh, God. Ah, I hate you. However, if you are a mutant, you might be resistant to the garlic. Eureka, I know what I must do. Take this wooden stake and plunge it deep into your heart. If you die, stop. I have a better idea. I'll find you an actual vampire, then you could cut me a break. Huh, and if you fail, then you could kill me or I'll eat a whole bucket of garlic or whatever you need. It's a deal, but don't you try to cheat me, you bearded horror. His logic is insurmountable. I guess it would make sense to talk to the victims. Chain, Farmer, Son, and Rose. Okay, so as you can see, Rose, we saw her earlier. She had stuff to say, so we just talked to those people and we are hurt right now because eating garlic and our mouth is burning. So, that'll go away after a while. That's our good buddy. Alright. So, do, 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 do. we can not do this right now, apparently. Let's see. What technology would we need to uh, get this going? Insects. Ah, here we go. Bee domestication. I'm actually going to spend all the points to get this because I want this. When you get bee domestication done, you can now craft an apiary. So we need paper, we need parts, and we need planks. And then we can rebuild the, the blueprint station. And it's, it's actually pretty good to do this because when you have um, honey, you can make much better... How? food for yourself than just this bread so we'll do that mm -hmm. all right I'm eating so many mushrooms all right now let's see here we have a bunch of plots that uh, are missing fences but we're out of fences and we've put up all our stones. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to offload all of our gravestones to be ready. And let me go inside. Uh-huh. And let's see. If I wanted to build some more stuff here, I could build candelabras, wall candelabras, and church benches. And I want to build as many of these to get more faith um, for our prayers. And let's see here. We already talked about this, so we can make paper pretty easily. <laughs> there we go. Wheeling in that green experience. And then we can make clean paper for the poet and for our... Um, science activities and for the apiary. Heck yeah. I ate the last of my mushrooms, by the way. Snakes chilling down there. a great way for us to get red experience pretty low um, stakes um, 
and Snake leaves when nighttime is over. Fantastic. We're almost done. All right, great. So I'm actually going to te teleport back home. And here's that bread that we've been dreaming about. And we'll just go ahead and... I guess we could just eat bread and press on. We've got a lot of things to do. I'm living very expensively right now, but I kind of like to do this. It's not horrible. We have so many fun things that we can do. So let's go ahead here. And we need some more firewood for sure. If anything, just to power our oven. Okay. And then we also need... Uh, some more planks. We can make a chisel, I suppose. Iron armor. Do we have armor? No, no, no. We should make iron armor. Okay, that's easy. But I used all of my skin for uh, paper. So we're just going to save up and, and make that. All right, great. Let's make some planks. There we go. Okay, and I'll make one chisel, that's fine. And we need a bunch of simple iron parts. Now we need to actually sleep. We've got the tired debuff. So we need to kind of make sure that we are going to sleep because we're going to just get our energy wrecked by staying up this late. But we were able to accomplish a ton by doing this. Now, let me see. We needed this, this, and let me see about flitch. Let me go in here, pick up that. Let me go ahead and see um, what exactly it would take for us. There we go. To build that apiary. There we go. We can repair it. We built... We'll just build this part. All right. And a beehive is going to take nails, flitch, and tons and tons of bees. Now, you can capture these bees, okay? But you can also just buy them. As you saw from the beekeeper. go get a bunch of berries you can find bees of course uh, here oh boy it became nighttime quickly let's get away from the bats fantastic all right so we're doing great like we now can go buy enough bees to start making our own honey and combs, honeycombs, which we can use for candles, and the honey, which we can use to make muffins, which gives us better food. And then we're going to start redecorating our church with some of these pieces as well, and trying to earn enough red technology points so that we can specifically buy... Um, we need to get woodcutter, and then we want to get the circular saw, and um, the assembly stand would be great as well. We can kind of move around and, you know, get some more of this other stuff. But those are just really good uh, at the beginning. So, everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful. I hope you're enjoying Graveyard Keeper. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Take care.